Okay guys, uh, I'm actually in the process of trying, trying to acquire some more of these foam blocks. I got my cutter and stuff coming in, the parts for it tomorrow, so I'll have to actually build the, uh, the foam cutting kit uh, that I'm kind of building myself. Uh, that'll probably happen tomorrow at some point, but actually the, the kit won't come in until tomorrow night. So what I have to do is go ahead and get everything prepped for that, get some other things done. But anyway, here these are the hurricane straps. Here are some uh, screw, uh, nails and stuff, so I need to go and put 26 of these each on on, uh, on either side here and get that done. Uh, that's really my only task for today out here, outside of maybe going up to storage, picking up some packs, going up to uh, the storage and picking up some of our um, electrical cable and run it into our conduit. I need to get that done, so I'll probably do that tomorrow, we'll just get this little piece done today, and we'll go from there. Okay? Enjoy! Talk to you later. Kelly's still sick. Fourth day. Uh, today, 100 and, 101 and uh, some change in terms of some temperature. So, uh, anyway, hopefully she'll be feeling a little bit better tonight. And uh, go from there. Talk to you later. Okay, let me just show you kind of what I got accomplished today. It doesn't, might not seem like a whole lot, but my arm hurts. It's like 45 degrees out here. My fingers are frozen. And uh, I was able to do just one side so far today, but those little hangers I was telling you about, they're right here. Well, this one is the one we used before. These are the ones I'm talking about right here that we nailed in. I nailed it. So they go on the outside there and the inside here. I was going to stagger them from uh, side to side like that, 
but it was too much finagling back and forth. So um, I decided uh, these ones here I had to put in with the long 16D nails, made sure I had some good nails in there in addition to the screws, just left the screws in there. Same thing over here. Same thing on this side for those. But then what I went ahead and did is I just went ahead and put, let me zoom in here. I just went ahead and did the anchors right here. It's easier to just do the tops and then come back and do the bottom so I'm not switching back and forth and back and forth and changing my angle. So I got all those done. The ones on the very end, up over here where it gets narrow, I can't hammer. So I'm gonna have to, um, I'm probably gonna have to screw in there if I can uh, get the clearance to do it. But uh, tomorrow I'll do this side here, it's not too cold. I'll get this side here completed with the hangers. Um, I'll go grab the wire and stuff that I need for this. I'll go grab the packs, push it down the line. And then uh, tomorrow night, the, tomorrow night, the, um, the hot wire, the wire is supposed to be getting here, so I need to build my little contraption I'm gonna to use to cut that. I'm also uh, getting a hold of a friend of mine that um, he's around the area a lot, knows a lot of people, and he's got uh, someone that's got uh, this foam, extra pieces of foam. I thought I could just go ahead and cut these pieces of foam in two inch sections, but I decided, um, you know, I looked at a, a magazine article that I have on, sorry, let's see what, get that focusing again. A uh, magazine article that I have on super insulated out houses, and it said it's kind of worthless to like insulate your floors at two inches of foam if you're going to do your walls at five inches and stuff like that. You know, you want to try to keep them all consistent if you can. So I thought, all right, in the, the summer is going to be the hardest to kind of keep uh, keep the cool in because it goes right through the floor right out. So uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and just cut the foam pieces at nine inches in depth. Hush! Hush up, little guys. Okay, so... Shh, hush. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and... Uh, what uh, What's up? Just give me a minute, okay? I'm finishing my video. Alright, so... Gus, stop. Just wait. Alright, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is... Uh, Go ahead and cut the foam pieces for, you know, custom cut them for each uh, section, 14 and a half, you know, 14 and a half, 14, 14 and a quarter, whatever it is. And go uh, the length of the, uh, the length of joist, which right now is about nine and a half inches. So that should give us R5 on EPS foam um, times nine inches. That'll give us R45 in our floors. And that would be equivalent of uh, super insulating the floors. Now in addition to the joists and stuff that are still there, we'll lose a little bit of efficiency there. So let's say we got R40, R35, but that's um, a heck of a lot better than uh, just two inches, which is going to give us maybe R10, um, two or three, R10 to R15. And then I'm going to see if I can get more foam. And what I'll probably do is since this, uh, this foam around the lake is pretty much uh, rampant and free when people stop using it they just pull them out they replace them with new new foam uh, blocks so I'll uh, see if I can acquire some more of those and then I'll cut those to uh, five and a half inches in depth for our actual walls and that'll give us uh, uh, 5, 5, 5, 25, so 30 should give us R27 in our walls and I might be able to go a little bit thicker for the ceiling um, so I can uh, you know, I'll, I'll try to get our, I'll get somewhere between, uh, I think I'm going to shoot for R45 or R50 in our ceilings as well. And because it's it's free, it's lying around, we just got to go get it, just got to custom cut it. And, uh, you know, the more time you spend on insulating up front, the less uh, you have to heat and cool on the back end. So, that's it. Thanks again for watching for today. And uh, uh, sometime later this week, John and Paul will get back to their shenan shenanigans of getting that bus out of the forest probably won't have it tomorrow but uh, in the next few days we'll probably work on that too so thanks again talk to you later bye